What's up, guys? I'm Caden with Crypto Now or Never, and welcome back to another update on Speedy. Please do me a favor and hit that like and subscribe button. Help me pump that algorithm out. Greatly appreciate it. None of this is financial advice. Let's get into it. I have a dream. That's all I need. I'll make it up in some work and belief. Know what I want. All right, so before I get into Speedy, I just want to give a quick update on Bitcoin. So as you guys know, in my previous Speedy video, I had Bitcoin drawn on this bull flag, and I said there's a pretty good chance that we get a breakout because we were bouncing off of the 21-day moving average. We came down and we had retested it two different times, and we did end up getting the breakout, which is awesome to see, but we did not come up and hit the measured move. But what I do want to point out is we have closed higher than all of these previous local highs. The only thing we didn't break was the all-time high. So in my opinion right now, Bitcoin does look very good. And what I'd be looking for personally is for Bitcoin to start flagging out yet again. And honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if the exact same thing happens and price action comes down and gets a bounce off of the 21 day yet again. And ideally, this would give the RSI and Stochastics both time to actually reset because they're getting a little bit overbought. And if this flag does end up breaking out, it'd have a measure move up here to around 77,400. Now, obviously, that's not guaranteed to play out, but it's just the measure move. Now, if we look at the meme coin market right now, you can see a lot of meme coins are actually still lagging behind. Obviously, the last two days, Bitcoin's been bleeding a little bit, but a lot of the meme coins never really exploded, especially if you look at something like Turbo, which is down 12% in the last week. And the reason I bring up Turbo is because a lot of people compare Speedy to Turbo. But if we do take a look at Speedy, you can see that Speedy has now recovered and is back to a $34 million market cap. And we came up and we almost retested all-time highs. This is awesome to see. It just shows how much strength there is around this project. You have to understand, Speedy initially ran up to a $43 million market cap. So there are people who are up enormous right now, but yet they are not crashing the chart with profits. That is very bullish to see. You have to understand, if you guys were in my Discord, I posted Speedy at a $178,000 market cap. And again, it ran over $43 million, which is over a 200x. So a lot of my Discord is up massive right now. Not to mention I even posted a video about Speedy on YouTube at a $424,000 market cap. So even if you had bought just when I posted the YouTube video, that's still over a 100x at the all-time highs. So again, the fact that Speedy is back over a $30 million market cap is incredible. Now, I know this information has already gotten out there, but I want to point this out because I think it's very interesting. So if you look at one of the wallets who has been loading up on Speedy over the last couple of days, this is their wallet. And you'll notice their token holdings. They have over a million dollars in here. What are they holding? They're holding over a million dollars of Turbo. And I always tell you guys, these are the projects that get compared to each other. A lot of the Turbo holders really like Speedy. So again, you can see that this wallet holds over a million dollars of Turbo. And if you scroll down, they have accumulated 6.2 million Speedy. I forget what the exact number is, so don't quote me on it, but they accumulated something like $121,000 worth of Speedy. They started accumulating when Speedy was at like a $24 million market cap. So it is very bullish to see that whales are loading up on this project. Now, what's also very bullish for Speedy is if you look at coin market cap, you can see that it says they still have no listings. And this is why a lot of people were complaining about Speedy. Even though I was trying to tell you guys that Speedy realistically does not have to have centralized exchanges to pump. There's no reason Speedy couldn't run to a $200, $300 million market cap without centralized exchanges. But I don't think anyone can deny that they help bring eyes to a project. Just the reason that I personally think centralized exchanges are a little bit overrated is because people act like retail are the ones who drive price action. I'm telling you right now, retail is not who is pushing these projects into the multi-billions. It is wallets very similar to this one that is actually pushing price action. And believe me when I tell you, they know how to use Uniswap. So don't get it confused why centralized exchanges are important. They bring a lot of attention, but it's not because retail can buy it. But if you look at this BDX account, you can see they're up to 3,169 followers. It is incredible to see how fast they are growing. But I won't lie, I really like the Speedy art. They have so many super cool posts. And there are a lot of influencers who are starting to jump on board. Shout out to my boy Freeman Finance. He makes some great Speedy videos as well. But what's awesome to see is what I noticed right here three hours ago. So this is what LCX posted. LCX Halloween community voting has begun. Head over to our Telegram and cast your vote for your favorite project. And look what project is listed right here, Speedy. And as you can tell, Speedy is everywhere in the comments. So don't be shocked at all if Speedy ends up getting an LCX listing. And you want to talk about listings. That's why I'm very bullish on Speedy. The team is being very proactive. Again, I want to be clear. Whether or not I believe that a lot of these centralized exchanges are super important, a lot of other people do believe it. So the team is being very proactive. And they went out and got listed on Bitmart. They got listed on Ascendex, XT.com. And I believe there's a fourth one, but I can't think of it off the top of my head. Regardless, though, this project is growing at a rapid pace. So if for some reason you guys are invested in Speedy but aren't following them on X, then definitely come over and do that. And then as always, I recommend joining the Telegram. The Telegram is how you guys are going to be able to stay engaged with the community. 
And as I always say about Speedy, the community is the number one reason that I am bullish on this project. It has been a long time since I've seen this vibrant of a community. I challenge you to just go click on random Speedy YouTube videos and the rating is insane. There are way more comments on the Speedy videos than any of the other videos. They raid hard, which is very important for getting their name out there. Because at the end of the day, community is what is going to build hype around a project and hype is what is going to drive price action. But anyways, if you guys are interested in getting into projects super early, then I recommend taking a look at my Discord. At the current moment, I have three different tiers, but we have been making huge gains in here. As I pointed out earlier, I posted Speedy in my Discord at a $178,000 market cap. And I also posted a buy alert for Hoppy at a $580,000 market cap. That right there is two different projects that have done over a 200x. So if this is the kind of stuff that sounds interesting to you guys, I have the link right here on my YouTube homepage. We're building an excellent community. I'd love to see you guys in here. But as always, I want to be crystal clear. Every single one of these projects that I cover come with extremely high risk. Make sure you always do your own research. But that's about all. Let me know down in the comments how high do you guys think Speedy will go this bull run. If you found this content valuable, please do me a favor and hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great rest of your day.